Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Young, and I'm a facial plastic surgeon in Bellevue, Washington. In this video, we're going to talk about fillers such as Restylin, Belotero, Juvederm, Radius, and Voluma, and how they can help you look more refreshed and more beautiful. We'll introduce my award-winning theory on beauty that helps us get the best results. We'll then show you how this theory helps us achieve the most beautiful results in the most common areas fillers are used. We'll then show you some before and afters to give you some idea of what results you can expect. Hi, this is Dr. Philip Young. We're Aesthetic Facial Body Plastic Surgery and the Beauty Docs on YouTube. If you enjoyed watching this, click the like button below. First, I'd like to talk about my award-winning theory on facial beauty. Knowing what makes a face beautiful plays a vital part in getting the best results. My theory received the Sir Harold Duff Gillies Award from the American Academy of Facial Plastics and Reconstructive Surgery. It has been published in three peer-reviewed journal articles, featured in plastic surgery textbooks and magazines, and I've lectured about it around the United States and in other countries. I'd like to first talk about the lips. My first paper hypothesized that the ideal height of the lower lip should be one iris width and the upper lip a half iris width. The iris width is the colored part of the eye. My third paper found more support for this as these four studies supported these two measurements in a statistically significant manner. Here are some before and after lip augmentation photos. These were achieved with either Restylane or Juvederm. Next we move on to the nasal labial folds. To get the most natural results, you have to reverse the changes that took place over time as you aged. I hypothesized in my original paper that the iris and nasal tip organized the face into obliques. The same oblique is parallel with cheek shadowing. We use this knowledge and more to achieve the most natural results. Here are some before and after filler injections to improve the nasal labial folds. In the lower eyelids, the same obliques that I just described also helps us in these areas as well, especially when we transition our fillers from the lower eyelids to the cheek areas. This transition is important for a natural look. Here are some before and afters of filler treatment injections to help improve dark circles, hollows, and bags in the lower eyelid area. Much of my earlier experiences were during my training in Beverly Hills. I thought that if the people with the most money and access were still having unnatural results, there must be something that we could improve. The surprise look and large lips seemed to garner the most attention. After some initial research, I felt that what we really needed was to improve our understanding of beauty. As I mentioned earlier, we hypothesized the ideal for the lips and thus how to avoid the excessively large and unnatural looking lip. Now we'll talk about the upper eyelids and brows and how to avoid the surprise look. In my first facial beauty journal paper, I described the ideal distance from the eyelid margin to the eyebrow as being one colored part of the eye or the iris width. Here's that idea illustrated and described in this image. We showed in our third paper further support that this ideal distance is one iris width in these two studies that each were found to be statistically significant. So instead of brow lifting, sometimes filling is the answer for the most natural results, especially if your eyebrows are already one iris width above your eyelashes. Here are some before and afters showing how you can look refreshed and more beautiful with fillers in the upper eyelid area. Thanks for watching. We would love to have you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're the Beauty Docs. We're gonna be coming up with insightful videos showing you a glimpse into our lives in plastic surgery. Specifically, we're going to show you the human side of what we do. Through that, we hope to enrich your life as these experiences have enriched ours. Click the following annotations to subscribe and be the first to see these unique videos on our YouTube channel. To learn about our theory on beauty that helps us get you the best results. To see a video where our patient Helen Farad talks about her experience with cheek fillers and Botox. Or to hear Dr. Young in an intimate setting talk about our approach to patient care. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.